Uh, meanwhile, our coverage continues throughout the day of all of the big potential market moving events, and that includes some U.S. economic data in the morning. Tons of it. You have ADP data, JOLTS data. Traders are watching very closely with the help of the job market and focus on Friday. And of course, Treasury refunding. Of course, all of these impact the bond market, Romain. And of course, a lot of those questions that we get, maybe we'll get some answers out of that, <laughs> but a lot of questions are going to be posed to Jay Powell tomorrow, Wednesday, 2 p.m. The Fed makes its rate decision, and at 2.30, Jay Powell takes the podium for questions. We know not going to be any change in rates, but he's got a lot to answer for. A lot of questions about that, Dot Plotten. Any concerns about a potential rate hike in the future? A lot of questions on the table. But of course, drink your coffee tomorrow, guys, because after the bell, tons of earnings still. <laughs> and so it's a busy earnings season on top of a busy Fed day. Yeah, we get a little, quite, quite a few earnings. Let's start before the bell. That includes MasterCard. We get Estee Lauder as well. So we'll get an interesting read here, I think, on the consumer. Kraft Heinz also uh, in that group as well. And then after the bell, a whole different crop of companies scheduled to report. Yes, yeah, certainly after the bell, we have a lot going on. We have eBay, Qualcomm, DoorDash, MetLife, MGM, Carvana. We certainly have another big swath of the economy just in front of us, even though many have reported already. Yeah, this is actually the best part of earnings season when you get that more broad look at what's going on in the economy.